Hey, I'm Chris, back with a new Photoshop tutorial. This time I will use a photo from Shutterstock, a simple, beautiful and natural photo of this pretty woman. I will teach you how to create a fade effect which is so cool and then how to add some vintage look to it. This will completely change the mood of the photo, so stay with me if you want to learn how to do it. Ok, I opened up the image in Photoshop. First I will create the fade effect and you'll be amazed how fast you can achieve this with a few simple steps. I will create a curves adjustment layer. If you used levels before, this is similar, on the left here I have the shadows and here on the upper right I have the highlights. Using curves you can have more control on contrast, highlights and shadows and you can create S-curves. I'm sure you've seen this before, so this is an example of an S-curve which allows me to add some contrast to the photo. But for this tutorial I will use curves in another way. So let's get back to defaults by clicking on this button right here. So to create that fade effect I will add a point here in the midtones area and then look what happens when I drag this point upwards. It's brightening up the shadows by lowering the contrast on this specific area. This simple technique is already changing the overall look of the photo. I mean, it's already another story here, right? The mood is different. Look at the hair, look at her skin. It's awesome. And remember, you can select and change the position of the point anytime with your mouse, pen or with the arrows on the keyboard. Also, you can insert a value right here if you like to be more precise. Now, I would like to complement somehow her skin color and because it has a very pleasant orange tone, I will add a bit of blue and red in the midtones and shadows. So it's time to work with color channels. Right now the RGB is selected, so let's click here and choose the blue channel. I want to add a point here in the midtones. Next, I'm pushing this point upwards to add some blue in the image, but don't exaggerate with these things, okay? I mean, I don't want to go too high with this, like this for example, because my image will look so weird and unnatural. So try to keep it on a medium value. Let's get back to the channels and choose the red one. I will create the same point like I did on the blue channel and raise the lower left point. Actually, I will modify the value from the output to, let's say, 20. Ok, it looks good, but I want to add a bit of magenta as an overall tone, so this time I will choose the green channel. Select this point and drag it to the right until you're satisfied with the look. For me, a value of 7 in the input will work just fine. Ok, now it's time for before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. I can just turn on and off the curves adjustment layer to see the original and the edited version. I just love how awesome this photo becomes after applying some simple techniques like these ones. Alright, if you find this video useful, please share it with all your friends from the social networks and also hit the subscribe button under the video to make sure you get notified when I release a new tutorial.